I thought that was these, and I cut new glass for these that were broken. Okay. I'm going to dowel these in places like that for children. And then after, if you want, I was going to sand this right for the machine. Okay. Okay. What I'm going to do is to drill right through here. It's only going partially through, so I get to this tenon. some of that glue into the tenon. And this will just make sure that the sash doesn't keep moving around, right? Yeah, well, these um, pieces were, um, yeah, well, these pieces are, are modested in. Mm -hmm. And so I'm putting some glue. The only way I'm going to get glue in there without taking it apart is to let it squirt in. Mm -hmm. And that tightens it up. And I was trying to get some of this uh, into the key over here that I showed the other day. Mm -hmm. So that um, get something to tighten it up. And you said that you made those, I'm sorry, you said that you made those dowels. You just cut them down yourself? Well, I can show you how I did it after, after I did it. Mm -hmm. These are um, the regular dowels, but then I threw them up because they're not always perfect. And if they're too big, they could split. And at the same time, I'll, um, when I drive them through, when I drive them through, um, it puts grooves in it. I don't know if you can see from there that there are grooves in the dowel. 
Oh, sure, yeah. And that they're also true, so it, it, it makes it the right size, and it puts a group, um, place for the glue to go uh -huh. around the dowel. And all it is is a die that cuts the... set and I'll show you what I'm going to do to all of it now get rid of this stuff out of the way So that's just a little like flexible handsaw. No, it's a special saw for cutting dowels. Oh. The the, the um, pitch of the teeth, like a normal saw has the pitch and the teeth go uh -huh. up in each direction. These have no pitch. Okay. So they don't scratch. Gotcha. So that you can cut off these flush, pretty close to flush. Then I'm going to sand them. Uh huh. It'll be the but it's just for place. I mean, it's a sharp little saw, but it it has no pitch.
coarse and rip, like Barney, and take it all off. But I don't know if that's necessary. It's already, this paint is pretty good. Mm -hmm. A little hand scraping. Some of this. this is the paint when people paint from the inside mm -hmm. and it drips between mm -hmm. the sashes. Yep. That's what, that's all that build up from here. Real, real thick. Uh huh. Because it's uh, almost 200 years of painting. <laughs> painting, yeah. <laughs> And are you worried about lead at all? I tried to vacuum, you know, there's a HEPA filter mm -hmm. inside of that that goes right. But yeah, there's always, I guess there's always a light, but so far I survived. <laughs> anemia or anything. <laughs> so it's a, I try to be careful with sanding the, the stuff in here. Mm -hmm. But it, you know, all that stuff that has is poisonous, you know, epoxies, all these things are poisonous. That's true. But how do you, uh, the best stuff is the, <laughs> is the worst stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's what happened. I guess that's all I can show you okay. today. Uh, and so once it's all sanded, then you'll just prime it and then bed the glass? Yeah, then it'll be like, what, 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 like the first one. That okay. Was, that was done on the firehouse. Mm -hmm. After it's done, we just prime it. And I will prime in and around with oil primer mm -hmm. to let it soak in to the, this old, all this old wood. I may scrape this a little bit more, but it looks, it's pretty smooth now, and I can clean that up a little bit. Right. Okay. But it's strong, and uh, it'll work. And there, there will be more of these if there's anything else you want to see with that when the, when the windows come. Okay. I think this has been great. Um, yeah. Uh